Okay, Cashman Sins episode 9. The flower in the valley of ruin. There you go. I wasn't going to remember that one. I remember sitting there. I was like, all right, remember that. I forgot immediately. And you were saying this wasn't your favorite? This episode is so sad. It's it's definitely got a lot going on that you're just like... I was tearing up at the end. No, yeah, me too. Absolutely. Like, the thing is, is like, is it's just one of those episodes that is just so tragic because first like it's so nico is so i feel so bad for her well like it's so sad because you know she's dumped here and left to ruin in this valley and you know she's left abandoned here and all she wants to do is help you know she's basically brain damaged and yeah and she just can wants to only think of some of a few things which is luna and helping people and flowers basically yeah, and, you know, she's kind of made a life for herself here, but it's just such a sad thing because she doesn't know that all she does is repeat the same thing over and over and over again. She, she thinks that this doll she has is Luna. Luna, yeah. And it's just like, man, she doesn't even realize what's happening, and it's just really sad to see her, you know, abandoned like that. And She's so, she's so helpless and stuff, like, she's... Like, Bolton, that robot that's down there with him, with who's missing his leg and arm. Mm -hmm. um, he could She's, like, walking up to him, no fear, and he could have easily just smashed her if he wanted to. Well, I really start, like, Bolton I also thought was really... I like Bolton I, 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 really, I really like him. He's, like, one of those just, like, really, really minor side characters, but I liked him a lot. Well, like... He changed as... Yeah, like, he, he starts... He actually at, developed a yeah. little bit as... Even though he was just that little, a little character, he developed. He's got more depth than some characters I've seen in, that are <laughs> main characters of entire animes. So yeah, yeah, just definitely. Because like, he's, I mean, he starts out thinking that she's an annoying little shit. Well, and, like he starts out, you know, I wanna, you know, be an evil motherfucker. I wanna devour Casher, and and then you know he's broken, and you're just kind of like, he's just, just kind of like, whatever. I'm just gonna. Guess. Yeah, and then Miko comes up, and you know she's showing him kind of it's like whatever, just do whatever to me. And well, he eventually gets to the point where he'll just let Nico do whatever. Yeah, he was like, get away from me at first, and then he's just like, Fine. just do whatever, I guess. Like he realized, you know, telling her not to try and help him is she's not gonna. She's just gonna she selflessly. Doesn't know, she doesn't know how not to help. Yeah, and you know it's just so cute when she was like trying to put on his arm, and he's like. You put my arm on my leg. It's not gonna do anything. And you're just like, oh, she's just trying to help. And it's just like, it's so cute. She's so cute. And it's, and then that scene where you know he he sees her in the distance and he, the and robots are attacking her and he's just like, and he, she's about to get hit. And he's just like, go on. Uh, he's like, like crawling towards her and he gets in the way at wait just not in time and you know she gets. A, bludgeoned and he gets there you know at the end and he's just like and takes the shot and yeah and gets I'm just, stabbed i was just like oh and she's like he's just like get behind me Stay yeah behind me <laughs> but she still ends up dying in the end and it was just the saddest thing ever and oh i i just loved that it was so so and it was honestly, everything about this episode is amazing i can't I, there's nothing i can complain about with this episode <laughs> No, and I, again, and I really wanted to say, I, I thought it was really well brought together at the end with, you know, Cashman's just scream, like, that just... I know, exactly. Like I like I said in my the... review way back when I first started making an anime videos, this was, like, my second or third video I ever made, and that's one of the things I, that I pointed out was how Eric Vale is such a good voice actor, and, like, that scream was one of the things that I brought as a... Well, it was just kind like of emotional agony. Yeah, I was gonna say it was just one of those things where it's like, it really brought the emotion to of the scene out, and I really liked that a lot. And I was just like, you could just feel the despair, and I was just like, no, oh, no. And then, and then of course, Luna, the song in the background. Yeah, no. The song is so it's a masterpiece. It was it's so amazing. It great brought that scene. Oh my god, it, that scene is probably just like one of the saddest scenes, like in the show. Like, it's probably the saddest scene in the show. Period. Yeah, I think. And it's just so. Well, it, it might, there might be one that's sadder, but spoiler. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. That, another one. But right now, this is definitely the 
the saddest movie. And it's just because, you know, the characters they introduced this episode are so likable, like Miku and Bolton are both so... Miko. 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 Uh, Miko. Yeah, I, I have that even written, written down. I don't I don't know why I keep saying it wrong. Nico. And Nico? Oh, uh, anyways. Yep. But, you know, both Nico and Bolton are just, you know, two really likable characters and, you know... All the tragedy that befalls them and M- Nico dying at the end is just like. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I know. Def- this is some, This is one of the things that just really, like, hammers home the ruin. Yeah. I, I feel like so much of the show does that, but this is probably, like, the pinnacle of, like, wow, that was. that. This is what the ruin is. It's despair. It's. Or I guess it depends on how you think about it. It could be, like, the lowest valley darkest valley yeah and it's, it's just so but at the same time though there's the the imagery with the beautiful flowers all in that field of flowers well and yeah but then like when the other robots show up and you know you can see it in nico's face when you know they start stomping on the flowers destroying it just her like what are you doing you're destroying this beautiful place what why and you can just see her... And she just kind of, like, panics and just goes to defend her the doll of Luna. Yeah, and it's just, like... It's just... what it, Again, it just kind of shows that... She's broken. Yeah. She's hurt. Like, she doesn't understand what's happening. She doesn't really understand the danger. She doesn't understand why these robots are doing this. All she... All she really... All she knows is what she knows, and that's... Yeah, and Luna, and she's just so Luna. innocent, and to see her thrown into a situation like that, and and then get die. smashed, smashed by the, that robot. Yeah, it's just very, very, very poignant scene, and poignant episode altogether. It's and like I said about the imagery with the flowers. It's like there's a con in, in that valley. There's the there's the flowers right alongside all that that normal ruined crappy. Yeah. Rusty looking scenery. Like, you can see from... It's in the same area. You can see from, like, where they... From the Field of Flowers, you can see, like, you know, the disgusting grossness. But, you know, right there they have, like, their little oasis of grass and flowers, so... With water, too. Yeah, yeah. Just really, really, really good episode. Like, overall. So you see why it's my favorite. No, yeah... (laughs) Easily, I could definitely understand that. So, and I don't blame you. It, it's definitely probably up there. I can't think of any up to this point that would be as good as that one. So, it's the it's the most memorable to me, personally. Yeah, I could see that. Like I and like I said, even though Nico and Bolton are just those just minor characters, it's like I like them so much. Yeah, I I do too. And I'm really sad because uh, Bolton never comes back, even though they say at the end, you know, we'll come back for you. Well, it's kind of well, yeah. I know they he's say a he'll small... come back, but it's but it's it's kind of expectable. It's pretty expectable that he'll that he's probably not gonna make it. Yeah, I guess it's just kind he's of probably like, not gonna survive long. Wouldn't survive long enough. It's anyway. kind of like more of a you know like kind of comforting thing. You know, we'll come back for you, even though they're all kind of well, I'm sure they have every intention to do so anyway but I think it's also kind of well understood that they both know it it's not really going to help ever you know yeah and that's kind of, I think that's kind of shown in when he's crying at the end he's got that flower petal in his hand and he just breaks down and cries yeah yeah just two really likable characters and two tragic endings to both and it's just like uh see this is uh, how the fuck can shows go for like 25, 50, 100 episodes making cardboard shit unlikable characters? And a show like this can have one episode? A character exists only for one episode and makes it, makes them so, both of them so likable. Yeah, no, it's, it's inexcusable. It's inexcusable. Like, and even Bolton had that, had an arc in that one episode. Bol- like I was gonna say, Bolton and ne- like Bolton is a character in a episode, like, and he's just such a small character. And in that episode, he goes through s- an arc that is believable, and by the end, you really like him as a character more so than some animes. And you're just like, how can you- many many animes? How can you write this bad that you can't? I cannot relate with your characters over 
20, 30, 40, 50 episodes, but this show will have an episode where I'm like, wow. I, I love this, this guy. I like this guy so much. Yeah, and it's, it, it's, it's baffling to me that, you know, sh- shows continue to do that, and it's just stupid. But yeah, it, it just is kind of a testament to the quality of the writing in the show, so. Yeah, I definitely, way back in the day, I definitely did not give enough credit for the character apartment. Mm-hmm. Characters are a lot better yeah. than I thought. I really like the characters a lot in this show, so. And it's like a lot, There's, it's just so, it's like subtle. It's not like some shows that like go out of their way to make, they'll make uh, contrived events just to try to emphasize a personality trait of a character. Mm-hmm. And this, like all the personality traits come out naturally and subtly and they're not forced or, forced or uh, contrived. Mm-hmm. So that's that's a very strong point in favor of the show. So yeah, my favorite episode. Probably one of my favorite episodes in anime. One of them up there. Yeah, I mean, I can't think as far as standalone episodes that I would say is that far up. You know my t- top 12 emotional scenes in anime? Mm-hmm. Why wasn't this in there? That's a good question. It it should have been a top 13 list. I, I was going to say, I mean, I can't remember what your lower ones were, but... There, <laughs> this should have been in there. That, this should have been up there, like it in the definitely, top five. I was going to say, it, probably, yeah. Uh, it could, it definitely could be a contender. It definitely, I, I, like I said, I can't remember. I guess I just didn't think about this episode at all when I made that video. I don't know. I must have been on something That's stupid. Stupid nothing. Well, uh, you definitely had a lot of really powerful ones in there, though. So, like I said, I don't remember some of the lower ones, but maybe it was just outside of it. Like, because... Well, I don't think I thought, thought of it at all. Oh, really? I just don't think it. I just don't think it came to mind when I was thinking of looking at anime and thinking of if this, if there was a, um, a really powerful emotional scene in it. Okay, and this think, one just didn't ever, didn't cross your mind. Yeah, I just don't think I remembered it. I mean, I don't think it'd be you know number one, but it's because your number one is absolutely correct. Because mm-hmm. oh my god, that se- that scene from Tokyo Magnitude is amazing. But this one definitely could be up there, especially in the top ten or. Five. Uh, I, I, mean, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't know about five. That we would have to go through the list again, but <laughs> it definitely would be fighting for it. It wouldn't. It would be a strong contender. So maybe at least in the top half of them, probably. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, this is the longest recording we've had so far. We had a lot to talk about, and then we kind of, you know, went on a tangent. So, it's, anyways, it's not an irrelevant tangent. It is not. So the bottom line is, this episode is amazing. 10 out of 10, yes, would watch again and again. And again. <laughs>